Thank you. Mohammed, what is the problem that is so bad that you feel that you need to hurt somebody? Stay here while I speak to Becca. Thank you. Okay, and your son's in year six? He is, yes. And your son no. hasn't been here that long, has no, he? No, he hasn't. We're no? quite a recent... Um, Unfortunately, yeah. you've missed the deadline okay. for choosing scores. Mm -hmm. Your choices are going to be a little bit more limited than most. Okay. Because mm. children have already been given their, their places okay. in secondary. Where we come from, we don't have a choice. It's you either go to that school and like it or lump it. But what we don't want is mm. uh, having not to have a school in no, September. Of course, yeah. Okay, guys, so what do we need to tell our reader in our opening paragraph? What do we need to tell our reader about, Jasmine? Good about Absolutely. What's good about being a nurse? That's the reasons we're going to give. So what's the first thing we're going to need to say it. about? Can someone give me some ideas Stop about it. how... What's the matter, Siobhan? You poked me. OK. Mohammed, I'm giving you a warning now. You need to stop, all right? Our golden rule is that we listen. OK? And is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, yeah, there is, actually. Um, we're having great problems with the housing issue at the moment. Um, my family joined me, as you know, from Pakistan and we're currently in a bed sit, which is very, very cramped for space. OK, your son's primary school has a very good pastoral team mm -hmm. that may be able to support you in making a housing application. Sure, I'd appreciate that very much. Would you like yeah. me to refer? Yes, please. What we're trying to persuade them, who can give me a fantastic idea? Fantastic, so I'm going to have a go. Are you... Bektash Mohammed. Mohammed, I've given you your warning, OK? And because you've carried on, breaking the golden rule that we listen, I'm going to put a minute on the board for you, all right? You've lost a minute for breaking the golden rule that we listen. You're now not being kind and helpful. That's the second golden rule that you've broken. You need to go and sit at the timeout chair, please, so we can carry on with our learning. Mohammed, you need to go to the timeout chair now, please. Thank you. OK, guys, so we had... I was just with Isa. Isa, what was your idea for our opening sentence? Off you go. Hi, Cathy. Can I have a word? You can indeed. Sit down. OK, what do you want to see me about? Um, just Mohammed in my class. Um, he's been in school for quite a few months now. Um, he's really struggling with his learning and it's beginning to have a really negative impact on his behaviour as well now. What about friendships within the class? Um, he has made some friendships, but they don't, he doesn't tend to maintain them, you know, he'll be friends with one person for a while, um, but he won't be able to keep that friendship going. Um, I think what we'll do then, Chloe, is I'll come into your class one day next week and I'll do an observation. We'll fill out the class teacher record of concern form, and then we'll get together and do an IEP and obviously set him some behaviour targets and some literacy targets and get his dad involved and get him to sign it off. Does that sound OK? Lovely. All right, great. Thank you All very right, much, Cathy. There okay. you go. See you soon. Cheers. Bye. Bye-bye. OK, Maggie, um, you put on the agenda you wanted to talk about Mohammed Khan. Uh, yeah, I met with Dad last week to complete a secondary application because mm -hmm. they've missed the deadline for starting school in September. Mm -hmm. And we completed the form, although some issues come up about housing. Okay. Um, and I asked Dad if he would be prepared for us to refer it to pastoral care, and he said yes. Okay, because I know we've picked up quite a few behavioural problems mm -hmm. with... Um, yeah, Chloe, his class teacher, has raised quite a few concerns about low-level disruptive behaviour in the classroom, and he was involved in a fight in the playground last week that I had to intervene in. Um, we've got together and done an IEP for him, yeah. um, and obviously he's working towards those targets, but I think we need to do something else. Have we done any assessments? Not, well, not so far other than what he would normally get in class, but I think it would be wise if, if Chris, if you could get involved and do some assessments yeah, on sure. him. That, and it sounds like there's, there's perhaps more complicated mm -hmm. issues as well. Mm -hmm. What kind of assessment would you do? Well, I mean, it will depend on his language level. Mm. So I think I'd like to just get an idea of where he's at at the moment. Okay. It's starting to sound like it's pretty complex because mm. we've got housing, we've got learning, we've got behavioural stuff going on, we've got transition to secondary. Maybe we should think about doing common assessment at CAF. Yeah. I think so, yeah. OK, well, then I'll need to speak to Dad as well sometime about whether he'd be happy to go ahead with that because there's too much information we don't know, isn't there, as well. So if you get it all down and try and coordinate what we're going to do. Um, just kind of give him some more discipline. Back home, he's used to far, far, far more discipline than you guys are giving him. Really, we felt that the, it's quite a complex situation with Mohammed because obviously we've got the concerns about behaviour, um, which we think are probably linked to the learning difficulties that he's having at the minute. Because there are quite a lot of issues here and um, potentially going to be quite a lot of people involved in trying to support 
yourself and Mohammed and your family with some of these issues. Mm. We'd like to do what's called a common assessment. Have you heard of a CAF? No. Okay. Basically, a common assessment is a new assessment tool that's being used um, in all agencies in the UK that work with children and young people to, to get a thorough assessment of what the needs of the child and family are. So in the first section, we'll look at the development of Mohammed. And the second section is for you to tell me and the rest of the team that we're going to create, yeah. how you think you're coping as parents. Mm. And the last section, mm. and this is where we'll think about housing because mm. the family and environment is looking at That's our biggest the wider um, problem issues. at the moment. Yeah. So we'll think about what we want to get, we'll think about what Mohammed needs in order to mm. achieve those things, yeah. and we'll decide what we're going to do and who's going to do it and when's it going to be done. How are you for time now? Have you got time to actually start putting some information onto um, the form? Yeah, I'm OK. So can, well, I've got a few minutes, yeah. yeah. Can you tell me what you enjoy most it, about take, school? Um, football. Oh, football. Yes, I like football. Now, Mohammed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to look at some words and some pictures, and I want you to tell me what you see. Sun. Yes, good. And you can see underneath four words. Can you tell me which of those words begins with the same sound as sun? This one. And what sound is that? Ah. OK. Jaldi karona. The purpose of the meeting will be to share the information we've already filled in on the common assessment. Okay. And then to see if there's any more information that we can put in or anything yeah. anyone else has got to add to that. Mm -hmm. And I want to remind you this is totally with your consent. So if you want to take anything out of that or if you don't mm -hmm. want somebody to put something in, you yeah. can you, you decide what goes on that form, yeah? Okay. Hi everyone. Do you want to um, <laughs> what I'm going to do is just take us through the three main areas because I think if we can just sort of have a discussion about the things that we think are going well and the things mm -hmm. we might have more concerns about yeah. and then I'll kind of record it in the right boxes as we go along. Okay. How about speech and language and communication? So things like, um, I know he communicates in Urdu at home, doesn't he? I came with an Urdu interpreter and made an assessment of Mohammed a couple of weeks ago. Although he could chat away nicely to the interpreter, there were a couple of things when the assessment was going on that he found quite difficult. I know that you're trying to make him speak English at home, but if you focus on his Urdu, we, we can do the English bit in school, and I think you carry on speaking Urdu at home. Yeah, we'll try to do that. OK. Um, and anyone else got any other observations in terms of communication? On a one-to-one -one basis with me, although he mm. did have the difficulties with his language, mm. his, in terms of his interaction, it was appropriate. So let's stick with learning, since we've kind of started talking about that. In terms of his willingness to kind of explore and get involved and desire to learn, I guess, what, perhaps, what, what's the feelings from the class teacher? Well, he's quite disruptive in the class, right. mainly low-level disruption. Um, and he doesn't seem to engage. I mean, he engages in physical activities and stuff, things like PE, but in terms of anything else that goes on in the curriculum, mm -hmm. he's not really very interested or motivated. OK, so not particularly exploratory or...? No, not really. Okay. Okay. I think we've got to encourage him that it's OK to make mistakes, because that's how you learn. And I think if he thinks I've got to get it all right, he's going to give up. And that might explain some of why he gets angry in class. In Pakistan, where he was teaching, both my wife tells me he was having some difficulties with the teachers there. Um, they're much stricter over there. If you, if you do get something wrong over there, you get a swift rap across the knuckles. Um, so that's maybe why he's trying too hard. Parents and carers are going to move on to next, and you've not indicated to me that you've got any concerns no, about his so, sort of general yeah, safety. He's uh, adequately well fed, um, well nourished. Um, we don't ever any problems providing him with food and shelter, he's got warm clothes. And Mr Khan had already said that there was um, an issue with housing, the whole family living in a studio flat, um, and Mohammed is sleeping on the floor, is That's that right? right? Yes. Um, and again, once Mohammed goes to secondary school, he's going to be inundated with homework, and I'm just really concerned that there's going to actually be no place physically for him to be at home and do homework. And also um, some support for your wife, maybe part of the community group would be yeah. good. Yeah, she's actually already started English lessons, which um, was why she's not present today. Well, that takes us quite nicely into the action plans. Perhaps if we think first of all about the outcome, so what we want for Mohammed, and that will hopefully guide us to what we need to do. Well, the, the ideal outcome is that he could access the curriculum independently. OK. And that uh, he can under... And I would say that in, the way to get there is to develop his... Uh, 
expressive and his receptive language skills, which just means how he understands and how he mm. talks. I think his need is to be able to communicate effectively with his peers. I'd like to encourage him to be part of any language groups that are going on in, in the school mm. and to have lots mm. of speaking, lots of opportunities to use speaking and listening in class. OK, what are we actually going to think, put in place then to, to facilitate these opportunities to develop both as English and as Urdu language? There are enough indicators in that first language assessment to make mm. me think that he, a speech therapist would be what he needs. Um, any others in relation to the learning, supporting his learning? Do we need to do anything in terms of his literacy? Do you have any books in Urdu at home? Uh, no, we don't have any um, books because, one, we don't have space. We've got some books in Urdu okay, and English down there, so... Yeah. So can I put that down as an action that you'll agree to yeah. do some reading with them at yeah, home? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, great. Friendships. I think the outcome for the friendship thing is he needs to have at least one solid friendship um, within this primary before he moves on. Um, I think maybe one of the strategies, maybe we can try again a uh, circle of friends mm -hmm. to try and establish some fr friendships in particularly year six. In his class, we'd try and um, set up a group of his classmates and do some activities with him. So that the whole group benefits, so it doesn't feel as though the pressure is being put on Mohammed, but he's sort of developing friendships along the way. Yeah. Chris, is the circle of friends something you'd be able to come involved yeah. with? I think it's important to start it as soon as possible, isn't it? So, I mean, hopefully we'll keep it going until the end of term, well, until the end of next term. Will the same support package be available in secondary school as it is here? Yeah. Do I have to make myself playing all over again, mm. go through the whole rigmarole again. Yeah, the whole point of the common assessment is to stop that from happening. Okay. So yeah. what will happen is when we, well, there'll be another team around the child mm. meeting before we, he finishes time at okay. primary school, yeah. we will invite relevant person or people in from secondary school to join this team. Um, I can assist and support you to go over to the secondary school, um, mm. have a look around, mm. uh, meet key people mm. in that year seven group. Um, you can meet the um, SEN, the Special Needs Department. So you need to have a better knowledge of the processes and the people. That's you your need. Yeah. Yeah. And then you the action to. is that you're going mm. to okay. do that. Paul, I think housing needs to come on there as an action. Yeah. I think we need to support the family with an application for housing. Yeah, OK. Um, the last thing we need to do is just very quickly agree, agree when we're going to review this. I think it sounds like most of these things are going to take a little while to happen, but if we set a date that's towards the end of next term, yeah. we also need to decide who's going to be lead professional. Is there anyone particularly that you would prefer to have as your lead professional? Um, yeah, if it's OK with everybody, I'd prefer Maggie because we we'll seem to have established a rapport over the last few meetings. Are you happy with that, Maggie? Be anyone fine. Yeah. 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 Um, that's really it. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Oh, thanks. 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 Thanks.